So the second part of the webinar today um, is the product review. So we're going to go over speed and agility testing and how to implement that inside of the Coach Me Plus system to assess the level of fitness and performance of your athletes. Um, so if we go back into Coach Me Plus here, what I've done is I've gone into testing. I've selected my field group, so here's my speed and agility testing. And then I have my personal training clients right here. So I just have a few different tests here in which we can upload data itself. So if we go to Lincoln, he has a 4840, his 20 yard shuttle, let's say it's a 425, a 60 yard. So we're just going to enter it in um, data right here so you can be able to see it. Um, let's go 65. And then in minutes, this one's going to be, so we're going to keep entering it in data. Seven oh two, and then two mile. Let's just say it was fifteen even. So if we go through, we can keep entering in data. And then as I go along, I'll be able to see um, if I enter in anything more than sixty four seconds. It'll show up like that. Um, and now minutes. So if I go. mile run let's just say it was 15 42 and then keep going down the line 4 9 40 maybe a little bit slower on the actual shuttle um, 300 yard shuttle 1 mile run and then 2 mile run and then let's go to Cole here 4.6 let's say 4.12 11.43 300 yard shuttle at 62 seconds and then a 1 mile run 652 so Cole's a little bit faster than the rest and then let's go 1430 on the two mile so we have all our data input for the current day and we're gonna save that so we've successfully entered in data for all of our athletes on the one day so when we do that all our testings in there and I'm just gonna add a few different data points in past dates too um, so let's go um, in the shuttles. Let's go back to coal a few more shuttles. Actually, you know what? Let's go back a week. So we we're gonna assess these guys weekly. We have data to show it. 4.25, 60 yard shuttle. Let's go 11.52, 300 yard shuttle. Let's go 68 seconds. Um, and then two mile run, let's go 14.40. And let's just do one more set, uh, 40 yard, let's go 4.65, and then one mile, let's just go 6.58, or, yeah, 6.58. So we're going to save that, and then one more week backwards, we'll add just another row of data in here. 482, 4.26, 11.69, 70, and let's say just a seven minute flat mile, and then we're going to go 15 minute flat mile. So we're going to save that so we have some data in the system in which we can show some visuals for it. So we're going to go to settings visualizations and build visualization in which we're going to build a series of different dashboards so first dashboard we're going to create is just a latest um, table dashboard so speed and agility testing 
Um, and like I said, latest table, we're gonna go here. And then we're just gonna add our fields right on in. So 40 yard dash, 20 yard shuttle, 60 yard shuttle, 300 yard shuttle, one mile run, and lastly our two mile run. So we've added all of our fields in here. This is going to be a basic table of the latest values that our athletes done. So we're going to save that and then we're good to go. So it appears here on the list. Next dash what we're going to do is we're going to do 40 yard dash ranking. <clears throat> so in order to do this we're going to use the latest ranking versus group dashboard. So this is going to rank our one time um, versus the rest of the group in a column format. So it's going to be four yard dash, it's in seconds. And then there's this option here for sort lowest to highest. So lower values are better. Of course, in a time test like this, the 40 yard dash, lower is better. So we can choose how we're going to rank, whether it's position throughout the organization, the whole team, or just our subgroup. So maybe if this is a baseball team, maybe we're just going to rank against our pitchers, for example. I'm going to go against my whole main group, and we're going to save that. So now we have a latest ranking dashboard. Third one we're gonna do is our shuttle history. So we're just gonna put all of our shuttle testing into one dashboard in which you can see that with group averages. In order to do that, we're gonna go to the latest history dashboard and we're gonna add our fields right in here. So our 20 yard shuttle, our 60 yard shuttle, and our 300 yard shuttle. So those are all right in there. You can see those fields and how many numbers and or how many latest values I want to display. Let's leave that at 10. And then we can add our group or our team average. So let's go with team one more time. And we're going to save that as a line with only dates that have values. So we've successfully created our shuttle history versus our group. So on the same lines, maybe we want to use all our testing in a percentile radar. So we're going to add that in here and we're going to use our latest versus group percentile radar dashboard. So we're going to go against our team again. We're going to add our fields right in, in. speed, 40 yard dash, 20 yard shuttle, 60 yard shuttle, 300 yard shuttle, our one mile run, and then our two mile run as well. So those are all right in there. We can see all our fields right inside of this dashboard. And then fields that are lower, or fields that are better with a lower value. Of course, like I mentioned previously, these are all um, speed tests. So the lower the value, the better. And we're going to keep adding those on in. So we're going to add all of our fields right in here because they're all lower values being better. So this one might take a little bit longer to set up, but it is quite useful, especially when you're looking at this amount of plot, these amount of plots, and you want to see all of them as compared to percentile of the group. So we have four, four dashboards down. Let's add in another. So we're gonna do our latest versus group or self dashboard. So this will allow you to be able to tell the difference um, between the latest metric versus what they've done in the, in the past or versus the group. Um, so let's do the latest one and two mile um, versus lifetime min and max. So we're gonna use that. Like I mentioned, we're gonna go to our latest versus group self, if I can find that, oh, here it is. And we're gonna add those one mile run and two mile run. So we can see that um, versus our lifetime min and max. So we're gonna add that. We can also add a lifetime average. We can look at the training group or team or positions average. Um, and we can also add our labels as well. So I'm gonna add those. I have our two tests. I just wanna see lifetime min and max versus our latest. So we're gonna save that. And then we're done with our fifth dashboard here. The sixth and final is going to be just a basic, very, very basic 
latest history um, dashboard in which you can just see a line over time. So two mile run. Uh, let's go past 14. If we had data, it would populate up to 14 values. So let's just go two mile run. Add that right in there. 14, we don't want any averages. And we're just gonna keep it as a line. Keep it nice and simple. Um, show only dates of values for the full date range. So it's only gonna show our data points that we wanna be able to see and if we're going to save that. So we've successfully made um, three different, or six different visuals here, which we're gonna to add to our dashboard layout. So if I go into Athlete Central, into Cole's profile, I'll see that I don't have any dashboards in here yet. So I, I just created a few of those. I have a few that are already in here, but then I'm gonna edit the actual dashboard layout. So you can either go through Athlete Central or you can go through the settings tab in which you can see under the visualizations, the dashboard layouts, and then you can select the individual default dashboard. So I have my speed and agility testing latest table dashboard was my first one. Let's put the percentile radar right next to that so we can see all of our testing at once. And then let's go with our shuttle history. Let's make that a full width. Let's go with our um, latest history on the two mile run as another full width. And then we're gonna add our last two, uh, our ranking, and then our um, actual group versus self lifetime min and maximum. So we have those, we've added those in. We have our speed and agility testing in the table format. We've done a percentile radar. We've done all our shuttles combined versus our group average. We're gonna do our two mile run, just the past 14 values, and then our ranking, and then also our lifetime min and maximum versus our latest. So we success successfully created six different visuals in which we can use um, to coach our athletes on a daily basis and convey very basic speed and agility testing information to our staff. So I'll write in here, if I wanna move any of these around, I can move them up or down whatever they are. So let's move this up and we're good to go. So once we save that, we can pop on back into Athlete Central here and see exactly what we've done. So if we load up Cole's profile, all the same dashboards as before, but now we have our new ones down here. So we have our speed and agility testing and then um, where we rank with all of that here in our percentile radar. Of course, as we add more data in, we'll be able to see this populate and fluctuate depending on what, what they are. So we have that right there, speed and agility, um, all of our testing numbers. We have our ranking, so our 40 yard dash ranking, our lifetime minimum and maximum on the actual one mile run and the two mile run. And then our shuttle history with our group averages. So if I only wanna populate our 20 yard and our group average seems to go up here um, and Cole seems to be going down and getting better there as well. So we can adjust those as needed there too. And then very basic two mile run, how that adjusts over time. So just a quick way to run through six different visuals to display our speed and agility testing. Of course, the more data that you have, the more complex you can create the visuals and be able to see that data progress over time, whether it's a team or an individual.